Talk to me. Well, I'll talk to you. And I see you've got uh, some things stuck up on the wall here, too, about the URTV Media Fest, June the 13th through the 15th. Opening night gala, uh, 7 p.m. on the 13th. Mm -hmm. Then Saturday, June the 14th, video music showcase. And then we have open house and silent auction all day. Mm -hmm. And then we got workshops, animation, field auditing, sound for bands. 48 film, 48 hour film projection panel, late night Saturday night, The Baby, mm -hmm. with Rat Jackson and Black Hook. Yeah. And you got the Westville Pub on there. Right. They do another show here too, don't they? Well, we have something else we're trying to promote right now. Tonight, there's a benefit. Have you even heard that? No. Did you know there's a benefit for URTV tonight? The, the, um, um, the Mount Dungeon crew I need to be monitoring this. The, the Mount Dungeon crew is doing their uh, URTV benefit tonight at the Gray Eagle. And they've got bands lined up and all that stuff. Well, you know, we, we put a call out for toilet paper and paper towels on. I saw on you brought, so, you brought some in and I brought some in. Well, the, the one that I brought in came from somebody from Barnesville. I see. So we need to, anybody out there watching the show needs to bring a pack of paper towels or a pack of toilet paper back. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, we only had, what, two people to do that as a result of that call on my show the other night, so we need to get some more people to do I'll it. I'll tell you something I need, and you, maybe you have one in your truck. I have, a, I, have, well, I, have a, I have a topic to discuss with you, but right now I need to get the, the, the tea set on the table, you know, the cups and stuff. I understand. Well, where's that? I'll put it on the table for you. No, I'll put it on the table. Well, and, uh, and, uh, now, I might not get it to match. I just, I've got to probably go to your box and get whatever teapot you got there. <laughs> yeah. Well, so there's a whole lot of that goes on, you know what I mean? Now talk to me some more. I'm trying to get your level. Oh, you're trying to get my level right? Okay, because yeah. this okay, is a little bit different than the other one. That's looking good. Okay, yeah. all right. understand. That's looking real good. Mm -hmm. Now, you, what you got going behind you back there now? These are all pictures, works of art. Or what? Well, the, okay, my aunt did this one, Gertrude Talbert, Gertrude Engstrom, her name is now. That's the meter off of my, off of my uh, uh, Altec compressor. It, it's, just, it's just a slideshow of just various things, various pictures of things and such. That's blotter acid. <laughs> That's more blotter acid. We have a lot of blotter acid. Now, what's a blotter acid? Help me. Well, it's just pieces of paper with acid on it and pictures. There's Alice in Wonderland. See that? That's appropriate to our uh, show, don't you think? The little Alice in Alice Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland? Well, Wonderland definitely fits the show, doesn't it? 
Yeah, well, Alice you wonder Wonderland, what's going to be on the show every every time you come out, right? Wonder. <laughs> do you wonder? You ever watch it? Uh, not a lot. I, I do bet. not get a chance to watch that much because I'll be honest with you, doing two and a half hours TV a week, trying to go to county commissioners meetings, trying to run a campaign, just about. It's a full time. It's a full time. Um, well, figure I do five. I do I do five hours of live TV. Well, see, what you need to do is run some of this late of the night, hmm? about eleven o'clock. No, I run them at two a.m. in the morning. I know, but, but see, if, if you did it at eleven, I could see it. Oh, I got that's you. my TV time. <laughs> I, I see what you mean. <laughs> that's about the time I hit the mm-hmm. bed. Yeah. So anyway, we uh, we d- we did the. Um, I, I do. I, I'll go ahead and I'll have my discussion with you. Oh, okay. What what do you think about? Have Have you heard that there's a there's been a little bit of a a thing going on where people are going and stealing yard signs. I know you have yard signs out. Yes. Do, do, have, you, have you heard that there's been people going and taking people's signs out of their yards? Have you heard of that? Well, I am sure that it does happen. Uh, now, now, and what would you think of somebody who would go and take somebody's sign out of their yard? That's that's uh, that's that's pretty low politics, isn't it? Well, it happens every time. You, I'm sure it does. It happens every time anybody runs. Mm-hmm. And what happens is uh, if you're putting them out and somebody starts stealing your signs, you pretty well know who it is. So uh-huh, then what, you do, don't then, you? Then what you do. Yeah, you do. You I go know. steal theirs back. Oh, no, I'm not I'm not going out and stealing people. signs. But that's what, that's what happens. That's, not, that's, what, that's not, what happens. I don't do that. That's what happens. Mm-hmm. Well, I, w- I wouldn't do that. And, and I hadn't been stealing anybody's signs, but you know somebody stole one of the signs out of our yard. Which one did they steal? They stole the Obama sign. And they left Ron Paul they and left Holly Ron, Jones. Left Ron Paul and Holly Jones, but they stole the Obama sign. Now, isn't that love? Well, somebody may have wanted it. No, I don't think I don't think that, that somebody steals. No, no, I'm serious. Steal. Yes, somebody may have wanted it. Didn't know where to get one. No, I because no, you I, must admit. No, no, you must. I, I do not believe that that people no, you would, must would take that, that a yard his, sign. His, his supporters are very. Very active. That's that's ridiculous to steal someone else's yard sign to put it in your yard. No. Well, I tell you no. why I say that. No, 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 no. Some, so, somebody, and I might, su- I might even suggest somebody white uh, would take a a yard sign, an Obama yard sign, in an al- almost. I, I would, I would say, I live in a hundred percent white community. Isn't it amazing you? that you would say that, and I would tell you that even some of his supporters might take it. Why would you say that it was not one of his supporters? Because they, if they if they rode by and they saw the sign, they'd go, "Well, this is in a nice visible location. Let's keep it there." You know. Well, what would be the purpose? Well, that's applying logic. Uh huh. That's applying logic. Well, of course, and then of course those would be Obama supporters are obviously the the more logical of the. Well, of the, that's an assumption. But um, no, that's an assumption. Because you see, one of the things my that my, my experience in life, my experience in life is that that uh, uh, the more, more or less what I call the uh, the uh, uh, ignorant redneck coalition, we'll call them, okay, that have a tendency toward uh, um, uh, being prejudiced, and and I'm saying you know uh, you know the. the uh, I'm not saying they're KKKs, but well, I, but I have a term. I say a sheet of a different color. Okay. Well, the the, the problem that you have, and, and I believe this. I, I sincerely mm-hmm. believe this, John. I think that we are making assumptions because why I'm saying what I say is based upon my debating some people that have beliefs similar to uh, those uh, that talk about, you know, big, bad, horrible business, big, bad oil companies, uh, big, bad corporations. Those people are just as emotional, and when you get emotional, you become irrational. And when you become irrational, then you start making assumptions. And uh, I think what we're having right now is a conversation that illustrates that point. 
because you and I neither one know who stole that sign. That's true. We don't. But know. we know beyond a shadow of a doubt because I had a situation here in Asheville where. But, one of but my, I do know who stole that sign. Well, did you see him? I, I know who stole that sign. Did you see him? You, I didn't see him, but I didn't have to see him. I know who stole that sign. How do you know without seeing him? Because I know it was a low-down sign stealer. That's who stole that sign, a well, low-down sign If you know who stealer. did it, if you know who did it, you know what you can do? You can have them arrested. Nah, I'm not going to have them arrested. How Why ridic- not? How ridiculous. It was stealing property. If you saw them and you know who it was. Uh-huh. Well, it would be very difficult to have them arrested. I did not see them. I know it was a low-down sign stealer. Well, well. What more do I need to know? What more do you need to know? Now, now t- answer me a couple of questions. Yeah. Now, okay. Now, the the community that you know where I live, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I know where you live. Uh, and and the community that I live in, would you would you say that that there was? Um, would you say it was a? I live in a white community. You know what? Under the honest truth, I don't pay attention to white or black. Okay. All right. So, so you're colorblind. You're colorblind. It, it doesn't make any difference mm-hmm. to me. Okay. As a matter of fact, some of the things that people don't know about me, when my wife and I got married, we had a black man singing our wedding. Uh-huh. And that was in 69, mm-hmm. 1969, in Asheville, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And we had some people that didn't come to our wedding because of that. Is that so? That's, of course. Isn't that crazy? Well... This is America. And I bet he sang really good, too, didn't he? Uh, he, or had you, a, he had a beautiful voice. Or you wouldn't voice. have had him sing there, he would had you? A, he had a beautiful voice, sang great. Uh, as a matter of a fact, mm-hmm. he ran through the halls of North Buncombe and Weaverville when they were having race riots in Asheville. He ran through the halls screaming, this is a race riot, this is a race riot. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the kind of guy that he was. Mm-hmm. But he ended up going to New York, uh, and started living a lifestyle that's not conducive to long term and passed away. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he was a very, very talented young man, had a great voice. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's why I say that, you know, I know and I have experienced abuse of sign, the sign theft. I know you have. That's and one of the reasons I thought guy. I could talk, talk to you I, about I'm a white guy. Do, and, doesn't and, it irritate you, though? Well, I accept it because I know some people are going to do that. That's the mm-hmm. only expression they are mm-hmm. have of. Well, tell me power. this: when, when you when you have when you when you do a, uh, experience that somebody steals a Don Yelton sign, mm-hmm. your first your first assumption is that it's a Don Yelton supporter wanting it for their yard. No, I figure it's not a Don Yelton supporter. <laughs> well, see, that's a, because uh, <laughs> I know that I had one on twenty five out there. It was a good location, right? It was an excellent location, and guess what happened? It got stolen within fifteen minutes. Yeah, within fifteen <laughs> minutes, it got stolen, uh-huh. and, and it was amazing because it did. Hold on one second. See, I get phone calls all over the place. Now, uh-huh. let, let's see what this one is. It's going to be wonderful because this is a guy. Is? Yes, th- th- this is the is this guy. the guy that stole the sign? This is not the guy that stole the sign. Okay. This is the guy that put out some signs for me. All right. Did you find what you needed? You, you didn't. Can you hear him? No, this is Don. Oh, he's on that your headphone. Nope, nope. This is not. This is not somebody with the probation department. I, I recognize the number. If this is the probation department, you have arrested Harry Maroney. <laughs> Who's there? She forgot something in there, John. Well, let her come get it. Is it a, is it a black? Well, it, 7123363 is not a state cell phone sure number. Are it's not that one right there to your right? This one. Mm-hmm. Well, that's... Right. Would you like to come to tea? Do you like tea? I love tea. Well, I'm going to have some water. No, no, no. And that's the number that's showing, 712-3363. Would you like some? Well, I'm kind of in a rush. Well, that won't work, then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to be in a rush for tea. Okay, that's the number that's showing on the phone. Just not honoring of tea. Bye, no, thank you. Now, he (laughs) said that he was a state probation officer is what it was. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but it it was showed up another guy's number. Would the state do things like that? Well, they all they all they all show up as the same number if they were calling from the 
from the place. They don't have. But how would they have the, the number the, of a friend of mine? Is he a state probation officer, or nope. does he work out of the same building with nope. him where he'd be nope. on the phone? Nope. That was his cell phone number. Yeah, yeah. and this, this guy said he wasn't on that guy's cell phone. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I think somebody's um, fooling with you, Don. I think somebody's fooling with me too. Mm -hmm. see, but, and I, but, but that's a hard one to figure out, isn't it? But that always happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Somebody's fooling with you. I know that. No, somebody fooling me is not hard to figure out. They fool with me all the time, John. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they fool with me all the There's time. There's somebody fooling with you all the time. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't even give you a break, do I? That's okay. I don't expect a break. Yeah. And talk about getting a break and getting back to our, our boy Obama. Now, um, th they don't give him a break either. They're, they're running that poor guy to death uh, every, every which way. And have you noticed how he's been able to, uh, he's been able to deal with it well? Well, you know, if you're going to get in there... If you're going to get into this thing, you've got to be able to deal with it. He, yeah. I mean, if, if, if you can't, there's no need to get in the race. But look, he came from Chicago. He can deal with anything. <laughs> you must admit Chicago's a little different. Well, I know the guy who tried to murder me and the Buncombe County guys... Let you know more or less let him off with a misdemeanor. Yeah. He went up up in the area around Chicago. Yep. They nabbed him. Did you decide to come back to tea? Well, I was gonna offer some um, an herbal tea that I've made. I have a little bit in the car. If you guys would like to try. Have well, some if you would like to, we would. I would. I would have to like sip and run though. Is is the issue? Oh, is that what? But you would only like herbal tea. I would. I would give. I could give you some if uh -huh. you would like to try it. It's sure. oat straw. And Old nettles. straw and nettles. Yes, and uh, a whole bunch of different herbs. Uh huh. That oh. sounds like something you give a sign thief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give a nettles whipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The right. nettles you're going to give a sign what thief. Are those, what are those, those things where you brush up against? Stinging nettles? That's it. It's stinging nettles. Stinging nettles. We had like, like two weeks ago content. or something, well, a week or two ago when they were talking about stinging nettles and, and making using it in food and stuff. Uh, I was not here for that. That however, seems so I odd to me that. because, to me, I mean, stinging nettles is just something you want to stay away well, from. Well, anybody eating habaneros could, could stand stinging nettles. I mean, what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> habaneros well, I think it's lovely that you're having tea. That's just wonderful. Habaneros burn you coming and going, so it doesn't make any difference. That's habanero, right. Habanero. I put habaneros in my can of whoop-ass medicine for Now, cold. is habaneros the little round red yeah. ones? Yeah. Man. Those are, <clears> those are scary things. They are, aren't they? Yep. Well, have a lovely afternoon. Well, okay. Well, I, I'll t I'll try to entice you more with tea. I have I have tea from Wuyi Mountain in China. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, so well, I could I could offer you some of this kind of tea from here. Yeah, uh, this one, tea. Uh, from, from Wuyi Mountain in China. It's kind of special. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you guys doing? We're having a tea. We're on. We're After your tea party. Oh, cleaning yeah. it up. <laughs> Oh, I see. Are you having a like, televised TV? There's a, there's a benefit tonight oh, yeah. for URTV. Oh. And hey, the Great hello. Eagle oh. that was put on by the Mount Dungeon people. Mm -hmm. Are you, do, you get, do you watch the TV? No, actually I don't. This is the first time I've ever been uh, on the Do you TV. want to go on live? Well, we'll see ya. Okay. Well, well what do you, here, you talk to John. He, he's talking to everybody here. You talk to him. Anybody I know? <laughs> Okay. Somebody called said to tell you hello, John. Uh huh. Somebody I know. Yeah, somebody. Well, are you going to be up here? Are you? Are they coming? How are coming to the tea party? If they're free. Well, I've got to leave uh, in about uh, 15 minutes. I've got to leave because I've got to pick my wife up at 5 o'clock. <laughs> well, why don't you come on by? And, and, and when I leave, you can take over and we can still harass him. Because <laughs> he's going he's to be on this Obama thing. He's got Obama itis. Obama He's got Obama itis, and that's what he's got talking about. I didn't, even, I didn't get Obama itis until somebody stole my sign. Doctor Who? Hey, Doctor Dick may come in. Okay, well, tell, tell him that I didn't get Obama itis until somebody stole my sign. He didn't get Obama itis until somebody stole his sign. No, and that and that ticked me and off. And I tried to tell him it's an Obama fan that didn't have a sign and wanted one, and they're so passionate that that's the reason they stole it. That's right. <laughs> 
Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>